Hello, beautiful. There we go. Hello, beautiful light beings. Shannon O'Flaherty here. And I'm back in laptop working order for the moment. So yesterday I had a little bit of electrical blip. I thought it was my charger, but turns out it was just the the whole computer needed major electrical rebooting. I think my energy is just blowing things out at the moment. So that happens sometimes when you're having a huge vibrational shift. I can't explain that, <laughs> but it does. Anyway, so yesterday I spoke about be not being heard and active listening. And today, to answer the second part of Leslie's question, is about walking on eggshells around people. So that that expression comes from the 1800s. I thought it, there would be some really cool story about it, but there's not really. It's just about really when you're you're worried about upsetting someone or causing some kind of argument or conflict in some way so you end up tiptoeing around somebody. Now, probably everyone here has done that at some point in time in their lives. When your partner comes home and and he or she is in a really bad mood and doesn't want to hear anything, doesn't want to have fun and so you don't want to do anything to upset that person so you might tiptoe around them. I wonder if I turn the sound off on my computer if you're still going to hear me but I want to wait until somebody joins to let me know if you can hear me if I do that. So if you're hearing my computer go ding ding. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. My phone is on airplane mode so I don't know how to shut up my computer. You might have noticed by now that technology is not my strong point. <laughs> anyway, so what's happening when we are tiptoeing around someone? We are working from a place of fear. And whenever we're working from a place of fear, we are squishing our connection to source because our connection to source is love based absolutely from a place of love so when we're connected and in alignment and connecting to source our energy is open and expansive and expanding when we are working from a place of fear or worry or concern or pleasing others not in the good way <laughs> and a way of self-sacrifice i haven't done that video yet have I that's on the list our energy is contracting and getting smaller and pushing in and so that's squishing our power so when you're tiptoeing on eggshells around people so as not to offend them or not to upset them essentially what you're doing is giving your power away I know I've done that extensively in my last relationship and it was totally my own doing, my own doing. I gave up my power. I don't know that I was, yeah, I was conscious of it at the time. I was conscious and I had my reasons and I made justifications for them. But essentially it was because I wasn't following my truth and it was painful and it made things get worse and worse and worse. And then when I stopped tiptoeing around on eggshells, well, guess what? All hell broke loose because suddenly my behavior had changed. So when you're tiptoeing around and walking on eggshells around somebody, you're not really doing anybody any favors because you're enabling that person to stay in whatever that energy is in the first place that makes you tiptoe around them. You're giving up your power to that person. You're squelching your energy and connection to source. And then if you do suddenly get the gist and stop tiptoeing around them, then they're going to think that you're completely a horrible person because suddenly all of your behavior has changed when really you're just starting to get yourself back in alignment. And they won't appreciate it. 
So it's an absolutely no win situation. It doesn't help anybody. It doesn't serve anybody. If you're worried about conflict happening, if you don't tiptoe around them, then that's something that you really need to look at deeply in yourself. Why can you not be who you are? Why can you not express your truth with this person? Because they might be upset. Well, so what? That's not your problem. That's their problem. If you can't be who you fully are in all of your beauty, in all of your alignment and connection to source, why are you with that person? Oh, because it's my mother, because it's my father, it's my sibling, because it's my child, because it's my this, it's my that. Make all of the excuses you want. If you're walking on eggshells around someone, you are not doing anyone a disservice. And there are deeper roots. And guess what? They're all yours. And so this is something that you need to look at deeply. Find the roots of what is making you fearful about expressing your truth. This is what it comes down to. Tough loving. I love you all. I say that with love and compassion, but sometimes you have to be tough and say it like it is to make people wake up and take notice of what's really going on. You don't want to be in an enabling and codependent relationship. You really don't. It's just not worth it. You'll lose yourself and then you'll be unhappy and maybe you'll be so far off balance that you'll even forget who your true person is. Don't do it. So if you want to find out about what your deepest roots are to make you fearful in the first place of feeling like you need to tiptoe around whatever person, and if you have any excuse, then <laughs> there's something else going on. Believe me, there really is. Please get in touch with me because I can help you identify and find and heal what these deep roots are. Because why should we be holding all of that stuff any longer. This is our time to shine in the world. The whole vibration of the earth is changing. And we want to wake up to our highest, most beautiful light bodies in alignment, walking our truth, speaking our truth, walking in a place of total love and connection all the time, all the time. That's what it's about. It's about being joyful on this earth all the time and modeling that place to others. So there you have it. Okay, that's me out. Love you all. See you in the next video.